Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Omar. Welcome to the third part of this tutorial series, Environment Concept Art. So the first two videos, we did sketching and we did some value blocking and painting. And this time we're gonna focus on adding color. Now, when it comes to adding color, you know, there are different approaches you can take. You know, sometimes you can either make an overlay layer or you could use gradient maps. So the most simple way to do it is that I'm just gonna create a new layer up here and I'm, I'm gonna set that to overlay. Usually overlay works really well when it comes to adding color to your grayscale paintings. Um, so after putting that on overlay, I'm just gonna choose my brush. Let's just choose a soft round brush for now. I'm just gonna pick a random color. Let's see. Let's see if, if I want like a brownish color of some sort. And the one thing that I'm also gonna do is that on layer 11 up here, I'm gonna hold on control or command on my keyboard and click like that. That way it makes a selection of everything that's on that layer. And then I'm gonna hit control H to hide that selection so that it doesn't get super distracting. Then I can come up here and then start throwing in some color. So as you can see, it works really well, like adding, you know. And then maybe I can take a brighter color come up here do this and you know since most of the work was already done beforehand when we were painting in black and white adding color is, is like one of the easier parts of this process and then like for the trees I'm like a greenish color and move this to the side so that's the first method you know using an overlay on the top now the second way to do and my probably my favorite way of adding color is using gradient maps. So what that what that does is that it adds color very quickly to the whole seed. And then the best thing about that is that it also creates a clipping mask with it. So you can like hide and reveal parts of it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on this little icon up here and create a clipping, not a clipping mask, sorry, create a gradient map adjustment layer. So it looks weird right now, don't worry about it. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on this little thing up here Double click, come on. Oh, actually, no, my bad, it's right here. So right now, these are the colors that are set up on my gradient map. If I click on this, I can like set what colors I want. So if I click on this guy right here, I can change this to maybe like a dark green, okay? I click up here, change this to like a brighter green of some sort. So you see what, what's going on up there? So very quickly, I'm able to get like, you know, a different color. Oh, accidentally canceled it, my bad. Let's do it one more time. And so the way it works is that everything on the left side represents the, the black part and everything on the right side represents the white part of the gradient, if that makes sense. Um, so there's that. Um, and then what I can do is like, for example, if I hit, hit okay, there's also a mask up here. So I can come back up here and like press X my key. Clear out parts of it, you know? And then if I make another gradient map, so before making one more, make a selection again, click on this gradient map. This time I'm gonna bring this below, okay? And then I'm gonna change my control. Let's say, let's make this, um, Let's make this brown. Let's see what that looks like. Something like that. Let's do this. Uh, so you see how like just that part is brown. It's because like I masked the first one. So I come up here and then mask it even further to reveal that brown color. So you can like you can like put gradient maps one on top of each other. And like you're pretty much just max masking those colors, and it works in a works in a very similar way. So it just depends. There isn't really a right way or a wrong way to do this. You just gotta figure out what you're comfortable doing. All right. So I'm just gonna be using a bunch of gradient maps, and I'm gonna be using a bunch of overlay layers. And then when I'm done with all of those gradient, all of those colors, like my rough color stage, I'll just make a new layer on top of it, and then I'll just grab my basic round brush, and then that's when I can like start zooming in and polishing all of my performance by just picking color from up here and doing stuff like that. 
but I'd probably do that in the next video. That's going to be the final polish stage. But yeah, I'm going to put this video on time lapse and I will see you guys in the end.
right you guys so i feel like this is probably a good stopping point for the color stage of our painting up here and i feel like we've come a very long way from just a simple grayscale value painting to color and real quick i'm just gonna hide all my layers that i worked on just to kind of show the progression of this piece so on, boom, 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 let's see uh hide all of that okay so this is what we had and oh my god i have this red color of some sort let's just ignore that anyways so this is where we were at in the previous video and then the first thing that i did was i actually started using gradient maps i used one up here and then i started using a an overlay layer on top of that where i started blocking in some more colors and then there was another layer on top of my overlay layer where i kind of like added some oranges up here in, in front of the cave and like around the fire and then i used another gradient map where i kind of brightened everything up a little bit and then after that there was another layer of just like some some fine details on the trees and the leaves and so here's like a little before and after and then i had another layer then this next layer was just a little bit uh texture that i put on the big leaves up here and also on the tree trunk and then after that so that's how you want to do right you want to slowly build up your piece so don't be scared of using like a lot of layers the more layers you use the more control you're gonna have over your drawing and then on this layer i kind of like darken the bottom part of the little island just so that it reads a little better so that's a little before and after and then and then the fire i kind of like made it a little bit brighter and then i added a little bit of smoke up here as well um, which I'll probably fix it looks a little wonky and then after that I felt like everything looked way too saturated so I kind of so I had an adjustment layer of a hue saturation and kind of pulled down the saturation a little bit it's very subtle but I feel like it, it does really well so so there's that and then after that what I had is I had a bunch of other layers on top so then it's, and then I included the the weapon rack up here so that was like the little silhouette and then the line work and then some shadow and then up here I added some more orange to the overall scene so this is where we're at right now um, the next step would be to the, pretty much the next step would just be a final polish uh, stage of this drawing where I'll probably just go in zoom in and like probably fix the tree roots up here maybe like you know refine the shape of the island a little bit more and just you know just little things here and there probably fix this thing as well I forgot what it's called uh, what is it called? I don't know. I forgot. I'm blacking out. Anyways, and come up here, you know, fix these tree, tree branches a little bit more. But yeah, but this is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for sticking around. And I will see you guys in the fourth video of this series. But yeah, thank you so much. Subscribe to my channel, share, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.